Sam here. Um, I am currently in the parking lot at Walgreens. I've had kind of a day, so I decided to do something to boost my mood a little bit and share with you guys my revert story. So um, here it goes. And yes, that is baby Imani sleeping in the background. Um, so I'll start it with, um, I was brought up Christian. We, did, we weren't like super practicing, you know, we celebrated Christmas, but you know, that's more of um, an American culture thing at this point. Everybody celebrates Christmas that's not, um, you know, like Muslim or Jewish, I think. Even like uh, atheists celebrate Christmas. But anyways, um, so yeah, I was brought up Christian. Um, I've had a lot of different experiences in my life, some really good and some really bad, and that influenced my uh, choices as a teenager. I was pretty wild. Um, I rebelled in a lot of different ways, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was super into um, self-medicating. You know, I smoked a lot of weed coming up, you know, as a teenager. Um, and I mention that because Islam changed a lot in my life. So I, I bring up the bad stuff so you can understand why, you know, Islam was so good for me. Um, so I was 16. Me and my mom and family, you know, we moved to another house in Detroit. There was a Muslim family across the street. Um, and before then, keep in mind, I cannot, cannot tell you a time where I had personally interacted with a Muslim. And if I did, they were probably non-Arab and men, because I can tell you I'd never, like, knowingly looked at a woman in a scarf even. You know what I'm saying? So my perception of the religion was, you know, they're all Arabs. That's, you know, that's usually what kids think about Muslims, and they hate Americans, and uh, that's, that's pretty much the knowledge that I had. You know, they prayed five times a day, I learned that in school, but that was it, you know, as far as world religion studies or whatever. But yeah, so my knowledge in Islam was um, not little, but completely misinformed. Um, so yeah, meeting them was like an awakening, you know what I'm saying? So seeing these people that are so sweet, and you know, the daughter didn't wear a scarf, but the mom did, and um, the dad was super religious. He fasted outside of Ramadan, um, so like it was nice to see the difference in what I thought versus you know the reality. And then uh, going forward, I had met someone who I remember my first interaction was um, talking about a Marilyn Monroe tattoo that I wanted to get on my back, and he was like. But why though? <laughs> That's really dumb. <laughs> so he just uh, instilled in me um, to basically think before you act, you know, simple stuff. Um, he also, over the time, okay, so first of all, I'm talking about my husband. Everybody knows that I've been married for uh, basically a decade at this point. And um, before I go further into details, I want to make something very clear with you all. I am not Muslim because I wanted to marry my husband. I am Muslim because Islam is what's right for me in my heart. And regardless of my relationship with him, I would still be Muslim. So uh, please do not accuse me of faking my religion for a man because it's very common and I'm aware of that, but I'm surely not the case. Anyways, um, so we met and we would argue about a lot of things. You know, mostly I was wrong, you know, because a lot of things that my side of the argument would just be stupid, immature, you know, kids wanting to get their way type of stuff. So. You know, we would talk about religion and he taught me a lot and at first the idea of hijab was like, why why do I have to cover? I didn't understand, why do I have to do something and you don't? And first of all, I was wrong because men have to cover too. Um, they just have different ways of covering um, and I, I didn't understand at first the value of modesty in general. And then even when you take away all the other things, um, hijab is for God, you know? you. You do it to show your dedication and love for God. You know, that's just like the basics of it. So when, when I understood that or when he explained that to me, it was such a beautiful thing. And, you know, further, more, um, the more I learned about Islam, the more I kind of decided that I needed it, you know, because it, Islam is not um, just a religion. It's a way of life. It's um, every every aspect of your life, you know, eating with your right hand and not your left, um, saying bismillah before you take a bite. Um, there, there are a lot of parts of Islam that uh, is a positive um, influence in, in different aspects of your life. And I saw that learning it. You know, I just, I saw how beautiful someone's perception on the world can be when they're looking at it through the eyes of Islam. And that sounded so corny coming out. I swear to God, I didn't, I didn't mean to <laughs> sound so corny. But, um, oh, I'm being loud. Sorry, baby. Um, 
but yeah, so we we were friends, um, and we would talk about religion and you know our lives and what we want to do with our lives, you know, growing up and stuff like that. And you know, I decided that I wanted to be Muslim. And through this time, at the time, um, I did go through a, a point of. Confusion. I don't know, because I was trying to figure out, you know, I was 16, 17, I was young. Um, we don't think clearly when we're teenagers, so I was struggling with understanding my own feelings of whether or not I loved Islam or if I loved my husband, uh, or both, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to figure out if I was doing this like 100% for me, or if I was being, you know, the typical teenage girl just trying to make her you know this guy that she liked like her back you know what I'm saying and it was it was a, a tough time for me but when I can't I can't tell you for certain the moment but there was a moment and I just like I needed Islam but I needed him too you know what I'm saying like he's it was like a package deal kind of like I knew I could be Muslim on my own because I you know, I feel it in my heart and I believe I believe you know the teachings of Islam but he just brings he brings it out on me he makes me try harder to be a better Muslim you know what I'm saying like you just wake up in the morning and you just I need to pray you know what I'm saying like he's that person for me so I love him for so many different reasons and ways you know what I mean and this did not uh, I didn't intend to have this be about my husband at all but um, he really did saved my life and I say that all the time and my mom kind of laughs and she says it a little bit too um, but he I'm gonna stop actually because I think I'm gonna cry um, but I love being Muslim and I love the community and the family that I've joined and I love that my babies are gonna grow up to be Muslims that just well obviously they're Muslim now but uh, just knowing that they have that makes me so happy so <laughs> again <clears throat> please do not ever assume that I am the type of woman that uh, wears a scarf because she got married to a uh, Muslim because that's not the case uh, us ladies over here we love Islam um, so yeah that's my story and I love you all and I appreciate you listening